Hi, welcome. Simon here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step from start to finish on how to replace a MacBook Air screen replacement on a Model A1466. Alright, the first thing you need to do is to get yourself a Pantalope P5 screwdriver. We need to remove all the screws here so that we can get to the back cover and remove the back plate. Okay, once you have removed all the screws, you want to pay attention to the top middle screws. They are much longer on this top here, and the rest is about the same. Once you remove all the screw, go ahead and remove the back cover. And you can see the entire part of your the internal the internal part of the laptop. Now, my laptop here has a water damage. Pretty much you can see that all the chipset, the capacitors have corrosion and starting to grow the green stuff. So those are water um, damage and of course here has a burn chipset. Now first thing you need to do is to remove the battery connector by sliding down the connector and in this video I'm just going to show you how to replace the screen so do not worry about the motherboard whatsoever. Okay. The next step is to get yourself a plastic prying tool. We need to pry open the clipper. Make sure the clipper is like is open up and slide the connector away from your body. The next step is to disconnect the Wi-Fi cable by simply just lifting it up. There are two. And then you can just pull that cable that Wi-Fi cable which is hidden underneath the motherboard just pull it right out like such the next step is to disconnect this cable here on both sides that is to transfer the data from the USB I.O. board here into the main board but what we're trying to do is to disconnect this cable what you can do is slide it down so I need to have a good grip Let's disconnect this for now. This is the uh, DC jack connector that powers up the battery or charge up the battery. So just slide it to your right. Go under, underneath to this cable right here, the webcam cable, and slide it down towards your body. Okay, once we slide it down, we are ready to remove this tiny little screw here. First, I like to disconnect the uh, speaker cable. Just lift it up. Then just kind of like Lego, you just lift it up and that would be disconnect. Next is to get your T4 screwdriver. Okay, T4. Remove that screw. Using a T4 steel, remove the screw on the top right, that is for the CPU fan. We need to remove the CPU to get into the, um, to get the cable up. So the three screw, one, two, and three, remove that. Have the CPU fan hanging to your left. Now you're gonna, you wanna be very careful with that flex cable right there. So that flex cable is still holding onto your CPU. Now we have a chance to go underneath and just disconnect that cable. Once you have done with that process, get yourself a T8 screwdriver and we are going to remove the three screws holding down the hinge. And other three screws that is holding down a hinge on this side. Remove them.
Okay, once you have done with that process, we just want to make sure that other cables are free. Now you can open up your laptop at 90 degree angle. So the laptop is open, pushing up the screen and the hinge. Okay, and you want to slide that hinge out of the base. Once it slides out at 90 degree angle, you will have the entire screen removed. Like so. All right. I will be saving this screen for for like a use screen. Um, if anybody needs them, I'll replace it for them because I know that the screen is still fine. It's just that the water damage is on the motherboard. Now, what you want to do if you get a screen replacement, and I will link them down in the description below. You can get it from either eBay or Amazon. eBay probably sell a used one. Amazon, you might be able to find a brand new screen. Once you get a replacement screen and the tool, so I'll link it down in the description below. You can follow along with the video and get your MacBook Air screen replaced. Assuming that the new screen comes in, what you want to do is just a reverse process. Make sure that the hinge is open up at 90 degree angle on both sides. And you want to kind of go above the laptop, slide it in like so. And then slide it in on the other side like so. Now you're holding the laptop up in the air while this screen is hanging loose like that. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to get the one of the screw here, lock it down so that we can close the hinge and continue the repair. I'm just going to lock one in first. Okay, one of the screw is in, holding down the hinge of the screen, and let's find the other one here. I would do the same. And then I'll be closing up the screen. Okay, so I'm just going to walk you through the process because I do not want to um, put all the screws back together and remove it after just to use that, um, have the use screen available for other people. So I'm just going to walk you through this, um, at least you get a chance to um, follow along. Okay, so the next step, I like to align, so open up my CPU fan and then kind of get this cable tucked underneath. Okay, underneath there, go back in, all right, go around it, have the CPU fan go back on top here, above the rubber, okay, tuck it in, like such. Oops, I'm using the wrong cable. I apologize, that is for the Wi-Fi. And this is the right cable. Okay, once you have that cable in a position like so, you want to start putting up the, sc um, the screws back together. So make sure you have one screw here on the top right corner for the CPU fan, top left corner, and the one here at the bottom. Okay, so three screws holding down the, three screws holding down the CPU fan. And then you want to come back here and finish up the two sc screw holding down the Wi-Fi cable. Once the Wi-Fi cable is tucked underneath that CP, uh, that motherboard right there. You can use the plastic prying tool to push it in. Once you have tucked it in, you just have to push it into the motherboard to hold it. Okay, once you have that hole, the long one goes to the very bottom. 
Okay, that long CPU, uh, that Wi-Fi antenna goes to the very bottom and the short one goes to the top. Reconnect that LCD screen. Of course, you need to finish up the two cables. And do not forget this cable right here, which transfer the data from the USB from, from here to the main board. And then have the back cover to go back in it and all the screws to cover up the back cover. Once you have all that set up, you should be able to have a screen, a, a working screen. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope this video is helpful. Uh, please like the video if you find it helpful. And if you have any question, comment down below. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.